I want you to imagine a day in the life of a 13-year-old Palestinian boy. I'll call him Ali. Ali wakes up before school. He goes to practice with a soccer team named after Dalal Mugrabi, a Palestinian terrorist responsible for the murder of a busload of 37 Israelis. At school, Ali attends an event sponsored by the Palestinian Ministry of Education honoring Baha Alian, who last year murdered three Israeli civilians. On his walk home, Ali looks up at a towering statue erected just a few weeks ago by the Palestinian Authority to honor Abu Sukkah, who detonated a bomb in the center of Jerusalem, killing 15 Israelis. When Ali gets home, he turns on the TV and sees an interview with a senior Palestinian official, Jibril Rajouk, who says that if he had a nuclear bomb, he detonated over Israel that very day. Ali then turns on the radio and he hears President Abbas's advisor, Sultan Abu el enin urging Palestinians, here's a quote, to slit the throats of Israelis wherever you find them. Ali checks his Facebook and he sees a recent post by President Abbas's Fatah party calling the massacre of 11 Israeli athletes at the Munich Olympics a quote, heroic act. On YouTube, Ali watches a clip of President Abbas himself saying, we welcome every drop of blood spilled in Jerusalem, direct quote. Over dinner, Ali asks his mother, what would happen if he killed a Jew and went to an Israeli prison? Here's what she tells him. She tells him he'd be paid thousands of dollars each month by the Palestinian Authority. In fact, she tells him, the more Jews he would kill, the more money he'd get. Oh, and uh, when he gets out of prison, Ali would be guaranteed a job with the Palestinian Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, all this is real. It happens every day, all the time. Sadly, Ali represents hundreds of thousands of Palestinian children who are indoctrinated with hate every moment, every hour. This is child abuse.